I spent thousands of hours with these whales and hundreds of hours with this family, but I've never seen the world the way they have. Well, it's a part of the world that we don't get to see very often, whether it's the sperm whale part or not. The ocean is very hard for us to explore, so to see what a whale sees is going to be very exciting. So the tag, I think, went off on fingers, which is fantastic. Uh, she has a new calf now named Digit. This unit is the group of seven. Uh, we've spent hundreds of hours with them, thousands probably. Uh, they're the most well-studied family of sperm whales in the world. There have been cameras that have gone out on sperm whales before. I haven't seen a lot of the footage or know how successful they are. But this is the first time that a uh, camera tag has gone out on an animal that we know by name, that we know their family history, uh, and the social relationships of the other animals that hopefully we'll get to see on camera. It's amazing every time we do this. We stuck this on the back of a whale. It rode around for about 30 hours seeing everything that she saw. It popped off and signaled us where to go. And we found something the size of a shoe. And now we get to bring it home and see what it saw. Well, Shane, this is what we've got back from the sea. It's very exciting. A little dog called Fido. But what we don't know is what's inside. <laughs> The tension is palpable. Is it dry? I think so, yeah. That's good. That means the tube held. Okay, back, 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 back. No, no, no. This is going to be the most exciting part. Holy <laughs> shit. Okay, all right. <laughs> She's right above, she's right above. Well, I mean, we've never had this perspective of what life as a sperm whale is before, ever. 